Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to do all Erica, I mean Nikki, and see how things go. She's got a powerful executor, and I'm not sure how difficult it'll be to beat with the deck that I've got. Oh, good afternoon, Mint. I was just finishing a new deck. You've done me a great favor, and I thank you wholeheartedly. Even though it's been a while, can I have a card battle with you? No. And please relax around our club's lush greenery. It's essential to remember to rest between your rough fights. Oh, it's Mint. Are you here for a card battle? <laughs> yes, I like to have battles using six prize cards. Please try to relax and not get worked up. Okay, I don't, I don't know why I said Erica, because she's not really that much like, like Erica. I just like, I did the gym leader joke at the end of the part. So Max Energy deck, her idea is to power up Exeggutor with a lot of energy, so I can do the big explosion of death. But, hopefully I will not let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> At least to the extent that she can power it up to, you know? You know? Okay, I go ahead. I mean, I go first with the head flips. And fighting! She's already got the XA cute. That could be bad news. But let's just put pressure on the Caterpie for now. With the nice 20 damage to start out with. And it looks like she's letting the Caterpie go down. Uh, based on that. And yeah, that's a jab. And hope for the best. There we go. I don't want to power up Hitmonchan too much. Because, it, yeah, it's still going to take multiple turns to actually do stuff with the powers of the special punch. So, uh, yeah, based on the calculations, I figured it would be safe to just distribute the energy equally on that first turn. And then, when it uses the Leech Seed, it'll get 10 back. And then I'll do 40 to finish off the executes. Sounds good? I think that sounds good. Possibly. <laughs> um, I wonder if I should use Defender. Just give a little extra... Well, actually, no. I've, I've got another Hitmonchan. And, yeah, I think we're in decent position thanks to the aggro of the Swift deck. And if she can't cause paralysis with this, she is a goner, and she is a goner. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, kind of the power of the Hitmonchan. Yeah, we should probably give her another battle, huh? <laughs> eh, Pokemon trader. Sorry, Nikki. That just did not go in your favor whatsoever. Oh my, I've been defeated. Here then, please take these. Lost style, probably got all these cards. Duplicates aren't that bad though, because you can build decks with duplicates. Mm, okay. And another lost style. Clefairy doll to go with the hypno. Oh, another macho to possibly switch out for that other one that uses a lot of energy from the base set. Yeah, I think that's it. I had a lot of fun in our battlement. Please do your best in, our, in your fights on GR Island. Feel free to come back to our club. I'll be waiting for your return. So, okay, just for the heck of it, we're gonna go over there with the very slow scroll speed of changing that. And actually, what, wait, why do I have that? Wait, yeah. Yeah, why didn't I try this macho by now? Well, we're putting them both in now. <laughs> Alright! Oh, what's meant to you for card bell? Yes. <laughs> yes, I was like, I was gonna like, try all the cards and show you all different strategies with them. It's like, oh, I forgot the, forgot all about that macho. <laughs> Alright, the rematch with Nikki. Comments! If you can hit Munchan right away. Uh, do it! <laughs> and yeah, I put four of them in my deck, so I shouldn't be that surprised, but... Two in the opening hand, two games in a row is kind of... Kind of something. Uh, I could use a fighting energy though this time. They're kind of kind of lacking in that. All right, uh, I'm not gonna be doing that today. Uh, <laughs> I can always scoop up though, so that is something that I should consider if Hitmonchan gets kind of nicked away with the HP. The paralysis doesn't really doesn't really do that much at the moment in time since I'm not attacking anyway. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Dark Electrode. And call it a turn. Hopefully, it will turn. Oh no! There it is! The card of death! <laughs> Wait, why'd she attach it to Caterpie? I'll just go for 
the big explosion as soon as possible. Hmm. I don't know, maybe she's got some sort of other plan going on, but yeah, that, that, uh, teleport, not so much the big, the big explosion, that's what you're worried about. Uh, well, mm. Alright, can't do anything at the moment, so I'm just gonna call it a turn. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'll scoop up, like, on the... Like, last second, I guess you could say, would hit Monchan, probably. Unless she's gonna go for the Executor explosion or something. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Energy, please! I would appreciate that. Just, you know, any, any kind of energy would be... <laughs> Green Shield is going. And it's a mysterious uh, power in. And now it's confusing in, in, in. So yeah, now she can knock out Hitmonchan on uh, the next turn. Well, let's see what I draw on the... Uh, okay, but, oh yeah, alright, alright. We got Professor Oak. And actually, ooh. We should probably start trying to damage that Executor too. Uh... Okay, I gotta play this right then. So we're gonna scoop up the Hitmonchan, pop in the Dark Electrode, put the Hitmonchan back in play, plus power that Dark Electrode. Uh, let's see here. I should probably gust the win over to that Executor now. I don't think I have anything else that I could use, so now Professor Oak. And hopefully we can get a whole bunch more plus power to sweep that sucker like a mad. And uh, I don't think I can. I think it says take. Yeah, take take all energy cards attached to Dark Electrode. So we're gonna have to do some fanciness here. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go an energy bomb. Put one on one Hitmonchan, then the other on the other Hitmonchan because they both require. Uh, I mean, they, don't, they both have colorless energy, basically, and yes, I will, will certainly take advantage of that since I gotta move the energy cards around anyway. And very nice. It works in my favor. And uh, you might as well build right away. We see what your options are first. Machop. What's the retreat cost? It's one retreat cost. Okay. Uh... I wonder if I should just go for another, like, do a defender, and go for another energy bomb. Because I can definitely work with that, based on what I've got. <laughs> anyway, we have zero, zero, and twenty, which actually equals zero, because of the defender. Alright, this is working out pretty nicely. And, yeah, with that... Machop, and I got... Oh, that's right, I discarded my both my Machop. Oh, poopers! Well, I could always put them on the Spearow and Electabuzz. I was gonna say I could power up the Machop with the uh, Energy Bomb, but... Nope! But anyway, I definitely have to Energy Bomb. Okay, that's going on Electabuzz. I should also probably put that on Electabuzz. And... Take out her big bruiser. Now she's back. With another small bruiser that could cause paralysis all day and all nights, and it does. <laughs> oh man, oh man. By the way, that animation there is, I believe, different in this. I mean, it's new to this game uh, compared to the first game. You know, if I can switch over that Hitmon Chan, I will do so. <laughs> like, with just using an energy card, not like a trainer card or something, because I, I typically like to save the trainer cards for like the more desperate times or the more surprise times. So yeah, since I have 50 HP remaining, now 40, but I mean, it's chances are she wouldn't get six head flips in a row. But yeah, I wonder how should I distribute this? Probably use the fighting instead. Swap out to the Chan, based off of Jackie Chan, or at least the name is, and grab that plus power from the prize card, which can be pretty handy in on itself. Ooh, that ma that metapod could cause confusion. <laughs> yeah, oh man, oh man, Professor Oak and Bill, and the Butterfree is a-coming. Ivysaur is a-coming! 
probably a Venusaur too, come to think of it, because, you know, the big explosion combined with energy transfer. Um, so we gotta do some selections here. I'm gonna do Electabuzz, because we got it going, and hope everything works out nicely. Um, I should probably get that on there. Zero retreat costs anyway. Is Wait, it wasn't a zero retreat? retreat? Yeah, zero retreat for that hero. I was, I was like, did I make a mistake there? No, I'm okay. Um, mm, uh, I guess I'll do that. And go for the Thunder Punch. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Looking good now. But, you know, still a lot of prize cards going, so... Oh man, she got the ex Execute. Okay, so the Whirlwind is coming again. I think I'm gonna go for the Dark Fearow this time. Yes, we're going for the Big Dive Bomb. And, ooh, Bill. I mean, just going for the Big Dive Bomb to finish it off. And, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it there. Well, Drill Dive is a, a Dive Bomb! <laughs> Thinking of the like Moltres dive bomb. Anyway, Ivysaur is out. I can't. Oh man, it's gonna be solar beaming like no one's business. <laughs> oh man, she's got the power this time. Yeah, um, yeah. What should I do now? I should probably go and try and do as much damage as I can with the turns that I have. So. Wait, actually, um, hold on a sec. It's just out of range of that solar beam. The other, the other Hitmonchan. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And then special punch. It's got 100 HP, so I've gotta do some calculations here to do as much damage as I can in the, the next couple of turns. So that should work out fine as long as I can do 40 from something. Mmm, I got an Electabuzz here. <laughs> I think you see where this is gonna go. And I got also Voltor, which I can give a little powering up to. I'm tempted to go for a Paralysis plus a uh, plus power. <laughs> that might be a little bit too risky. I think I might go just for the Thunder Punch here. And yeah, I would have gotten tails anyway, so that Thunder Punch... I mean, uh, that Thunder Shock would have failed me, so... Alright, the Thunder... I mean, the 10 damage to myself doesn't make much of a difference, because it's gonna be knocked out with Solar Beam anyway. So yeah, she's doing my sweeping strategy, and... <laughs> uh, oh wait, actually... Oh yeah, I don't have more fighting... Well, I could at least stall for a turn without any knockouts. Uh, well, ac oh, no, no, actually, yeah, it's at, uh, 30 left, so I could still just jab for the win. Okay, so we've got that, as long as I plus power, but what should I trade for? Should I go for another Fearow for a quick attack? Or should I just, well, let's just do that for now, and set that up. And then jab for 30! The Big Sore has been defeated! But unfortunately, an Executor will be a coming eventually, probably. <laughs> um, okay, it's, it's kind of powering up for the future, I guess. It's, unless she has no more Executor? But, but why, would he, why would she power up? That instead of the explosion, I don't understand. The... Well, <laughs> anyway, I got a dark fear on now, anyway, <laughs> as I can get that going on the side. And then, okay, now she's powering up Executor. Ah, uh, she's going for maybe she's going for a possible three-head coin flip. And she's just kind of stalling with that or something. In any case, I'm gonna do my evolution, and I am going. I mean, I, I'm thinking of trying to do the more, like, do a bunch of damage to Executor right away. Should I? I probably should, but then again, I'd put myself in a position where I, you know, I have one prize card if I knock out Caterpie, 
that I could probably finish off Executor before she gets her last couple of prize cards. And chances are she's not going to get three head coin flips, so let's go for the special punch. <laughs> Just trying to logically deduce the probabilities. Ooh, Electabuzz! Nice seeing you there. Oh, she's doing execu Execute? Not Executor? Interesting. Alright, ooh. That could be game over. Uh, oh yeah, um, because I could get a plus power out of that. Uh, I should probably go for that, actually, uh, but I also kind of want to not waste my cards. So I'm going to put Electabuzz back to the deck, get a Machoke of some variety. Wait, what? That... Uh, uh? Are they... Did I... Are they... Uh huh? Okay, that's... That's not going to work out for me, then. Well... Well, uh... This Pokemon trader just destined to be wasted then. Well, anyway, I guess what I could do is just, just kind of cycle out cards in my deck. If I don't have Machokes, I'll discard the Machop. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of tempted. I'm still tempted to gust of wind right now. Just, to, But I, if I get the plus power, that's game over. <laughs> so let's go for the plus power anyway, I suppose. Oh, wait, didn't I? Actually, I should have checked. Did I have plus power in my deck? Because I forgot how many copies I had. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Yeah, she might very well be going to try and knock out Hitmonchan with the... Uh... But I've got Dark Electrode as well as the Fearow to kind of counter that. So yeah, let's Special Punch and let her switch into the Executor. Probably. There it is. <laughs> And a big explosion, she'll average 20 here, so chances are she'll be able to knock out Hitmonchan. Chances are, because she's got 20 there, and there's 40. Uh, that's the average for that many energy cards. And... and... Which one? Probably the Dark Electrode. Pro... Hmm? Yeah, probably the Dark Electro, because I can retreat with it. So yeah, we're gonna go then... Oh my gosh, she got... That's right, um... I should probably do this then. And that Energy Bomb, because then I can redistribute that energy, such as to that, and then to that. <laughs> Alright, so now I just need to do 50 damage by something buy something and Bulbasaur is out I'm thinking she's actually gonna decide to switch Executor uh, just keep going with the explosion she needs three heads to defeat the big ball here oh 50-50 oh, oh sad face <laughs> alright so the Hitmonchan we go to uh, yeah, hit. Uh, I was thinking maybe I should do the fear roll, but nah. Mm, okay, so I gotta switch. And let's hope for the best. <laughs> She's probably gonna have to switch, actually. Uh, just based on... Just just out of safety's sake, to something that can survive a, a 40 punch. Oh, she's not switching. Oh, she's not switching. So she needs four head flips to win. Oh my. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I can't believe it came down to three tail slips there. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wow. That was. Lost. <laughs> I didn't think she'd get that many heads right in a row, and yeah, that was almost way surpassing the average. <laughs> Alright. Oh my, I've been defeated. Even, please take these once again. <laughs> that was a heck of a game near the end there. Um, yeah, looks like we got a bunch of duplicates. 
We have lost all once again. That probably means a bunch more duplicates. Yeah. I had a lot of fun there, Battleman. Please do your best on your fights on GR Island. Feel free to come back to your lap. I'll be waiting for your return. Now, for the other duelist that I'm going to play this part, I'm going to look for Imakuni again, which means that he's going to be randomly in one of the side rooms at the clubs. He always does that every time you power on the game, and then after you beat him or, or whatever, he disappears, and you got to power the game out again for him to move to a random club again, and you know what? I'll just cut over to me finding Imakuni. Ah! I have found them at the fire club. So now that we did find them, I want to beat them. So we're gonna save our game. Voila! And we actually probably should use a different deck than this. Actually, no, no, maybe not. Because he uses uh, a lot of water critters. So I got my lightning for the swift. So yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the swift deck. I'm the super musical star Imakuni! What is it? Oh, 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 it's you! You're persistent! Are those your cards? Would you like a card battle? Yep! He's finally ready to battle us! Or did we battle him before? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be shy. You'd like to have a duel with me, wouldn't you? Have I trained enough? We'll see! I'm lonely, can't you see? No one to play cards with me! Woe is me! I'd play with my partner, but I don't have a wife! <laughs> uh, okay, it's the same dialogue, alright. Six prize cards, we're battling seriously! Woo! There he is! <laughs> the strange being Imakuri has a different form, maybe? I... I don't... is it the same one? I'm not sure! I just... <laughs> but anyway, this deck is, uh... Similar to the deck that he has on GR Island, other than Dark Pokemon are swap all poopers. Yeah, other than Dark Pokemon are swapped for other critters. Uh, of like the, the equivalents of them, just like the regular variety. Oh, hungry, hungry Snorlax, too hungry. <laughs> um, let's see what we can do here before we jump to conclusions that we're gonna lose or anything like that. Let's pack. And hope that Hungry Snowlax is not able to power up to full before it will. Uh, okay, oh no, oh no, no. Before it's uh, before I can stop it with the fender. You know what I mean? <laughs> Actually, uh, it takes three for the rollout. Yeah. So we're gonna we're we're okay for now. We are. Good hope for the best. <laughs> Might have to just reset the Game Boy. By Game Boy, I mean emulator. If this goes awry. Oh, it's got two food counter, because yeah, I think it's it'll be able to knock out regardless of what I have here, so. Yeah, but even if I do the wing attack, he's gonna have those two food Oh wait, no no no, the two food counters are Oh yeah, he didn't Oh I wasted a defender. Shoot. Because the uh oh, I got a hold dog, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say the uh, uh he couldn't actually attack because he wasn't he didn't have uh the hungry Snorlax powered up with enough energy. Okay, I, I panicked over nothing, and I also used the Defender for nothing, but wait, we're, we're, we're still in this. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, he's <laughs> the most powerful card in history! Okay, so maybe, maybe we're still good regardless. <laughs> oh jeez, he's something. Um, I got scoop up in case of th in case things go awry. Mm, I wonder if I should give that to Voltorb, because you know that it'll it'll swap around the energy when it uses the energy bomb anyway, and then just wing attack. Yeah, Imakuni is truly a mysterious duelist. <laughs> I should say Black Imakuni or something. I don't know if they're the same person! They could be! It just looks like one wears black, one wears red. <laughs> uh, let's power up the other Sphero. And... What is he doing, anyway? <laughs> I don't understand. He, he powered up Storlax with all those food counters and... Nothing came of it! <laughs> um... <sighs> Bless me. 
Uh, I'm gonna be all nasally now because I'm spewing mucus everywhere. <laughs> and I've got paralysis. Well, I got scoop up for that though, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, that hyper beam is also not a big deal because I'm pretty sure he's he's low on energy in general. So oh uh, ooh, oh 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 oh. <laughs> Hello, double damage speedball! <laughs> I could also scoop up as well. Um, if, uh, like it, oh, oh, <laughs> I was say, if it gets damaged enough to the point that it's gonna be, yeah, well, oh, okay. So Hitmonchan is now in my possession, which I could use against said hungry Snorlax as well, if I scoop up or just switch. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's jam! I said I wanted to win this game, and I'm gonna win this game, dang it! <laughs> he's probably gonna try and go for it. I was gonna say, he's, trying, he's probably gonna try going for the uh, rollout on the next turn by attaching another energy, but no, he did not! Uh, anyway then, jab for 40 more. That was a redundant syllable sounding thing, but that's okay. And... Since you know what I mean, all is well. Yeah, I don't know what he's going for here. I just... Well, I guess it's Imakuni, so you can never... You can never count Imakuni out. I'm just, actually just gonna save that energy, because I don't know what he's doing. I might need to power up something else in specific with that energy. Oh, hello. Uh... Drowsy's alright, I guess. It'll do double damage. Oh, that, that that's... Wait, that actually is not going to be useful to him at all. He needs three energy cards for this Hypno. Yeah! Wh what were you trying to do there? You could... Wait, you didn't even prophecy? That... Alright, let's put the pressure on him! <laughs> oh, jeez. I feel like I would, just, I would just be losing so badly to him if he was playing competently <laughs> based on my opening hand. Um... Like, I, yeah, I don't really know what, what's going on here. Maybe you're just trying to use the Hypno as a damage sponge to switch out into something else, but doesn't it have a 3 retreat cost? I thought? No, 2 retreat cost. Close enough, I guess, but... Yeah! Uh, I wonder if I should keep the bench spot open. I can always plop down Hitmonchan later. And a jab or a special punch will work just fine to give me the prize card. And drowsy promo slowpoke is a go-go with the weakness. Oh no no, that's not that big of a deal actually. Ah, uh, Bill. Mm, lightning and Bill. <laughs> it's like I always draw one Bill into another. I swear. Um. Yeah, I probably should power that up. And special punch. Take out this slowpoke and save the plus power for something that has 50 HP, like say, a drowsy. Uh huh, I predicted that. <laughs> oh, farfetch. Actually, you might switch into farfetch because of the uh, fighting resistance. Uh, yeah, I'm super nasally after that sneeze now. But all oh, we're almost done here. Then I can blow my nose. Uh, yeah, I might as well just plus power because I don't know what I should do with that energy card just yet. And. Yeah, I guess I'll special punch. I'll save the rest of that stuff, because I'm in pretty decent position here. And, yep, there's the far fetch for the resistance. But, with the power up... Wait, what? You didn't even attach an energy... What the poopin' scoopin'? Okay, let's get another bill with the bill. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm getting all this, these sorts of... Machop, machop, mach... I mean, machoke, machamps, but no machops! So... Just kind of, kind of chugging along with those. You know what? Maybe I will put that out there because if he knocks out the Hitmonchan, I've got. I've always got the other one. And wait, whoa, oh shoot! I was gonna say I should do special punch and knock it down the forty, and then switch to Voltorb. But I misclicked. I misclicked. It's <laughs> probably gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna go for the leak slap anyway. Eventually, probably. And he knocks out the Hitmonchan. That's okay. No big deal, that was my own fault for not doing 10 before that. But... Got the Voltorb. <laughs> and... With the Dark Electrode... 
If I had another energy card, that would have been game over instantly because I could have energy bombed. Uh, and I'll settle for just a speed ball. That will be just fine. He's probably going to switch into something, but I will... I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run him out of HP before <laughs> before he can kind of take the rest of his prize cards. Oh, you grab Infant Chain? What? Why would you... What? Why would you... That It's such a powerful critter. Such a powerful critter. I don't... Anyway, okay, I'll go for that Hitmonchan power up and then speedball. Next turn, I will do a special punch and end the duel with the Drowsy, probably. Unless he switches into something else, which he didn't, so I, I didn't think he would, because he's kind of. He's running low on critters. And that Golduck is double weak. So yeah, I'm gonna do the retreat. Doesn't matter which energy card I choose. Plop that on Hitmonchan, special punch, and we win the duel. Victory! There's my plus power, which I could have used a couple turns ago, but that's okay. We beat Team Akuni! What is it, kid, that makes you so strong? So did we duel before? Or will you not admit that you were wearing black? I mean, that you were wearing red in the other place, and now you're wearing black. Or... Maybe you normally wear black, and then you wear red at the other place, or maybe you're normally red, and you wear black at the- I don't know! I don't know, I'm confused! If I give you these booster packs, perhaps not to tell anyone I lost. So he gives- I forgot to mention with Imakuni, he gives you like, one to four booster packs at random. Oh, there's another Venomoth. Super potion. Okay. Well then, I guess I'll continue to go wander around. <laughs> and so he does. We only got bo one booster pack out of that. Alright. And he is gone. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go back to the colorless altar, because I think I have enough Pidgey this time. <laughs>